Apnea Alarm The CCV has an inbuilt apnea alarm designed to protect spontaneously breathing patients who are being ventilated using support modes. It is triggered if the patient is apneic or has not received a ventilator-initiated breath for more than 20 seconds. It can also be triggered when a patient is breathing too weakly for the CCV to detect spontaneous effort. When the apnea alarm is triggered, the CCV will automatically switch to apnea ventilation mode and engage control lock. Apnea ventilation mode comprises of fixed backup settings to adequately ventilate the patient if they are unable to breathe on their own in support mode. When apnea ventilation mode is triggered by the apnea alarm, the CCV automatically begins to deliver ventilation using pressure AC mode with a peak inspiratory pressure of 20 centimeters of water, a respiratory rate of 10 breaths per minute, an eye time of two seconds, and a peep of three centimeters of water. Once the CCV senses two consecutive breath attempts from the patient, the apnea alarm will cease and the CCV will revert to the previous ventilation settings. For example, if the patient was on CPAP before the apnea alarm was triggered, the CCV will revert back to CPAP once the alarm is cleared. If the provider wishes to manually deactivate the alarm, this can be done by disengaging control lock and pressing the silent slash reset button twice or changing the ventilation mode or ventilation parameters. When using CPAP mode, it is not possible to change the trigger sensitivity setting. If using CPAP on a patient with a weak spontaneous effort, the CCV may not recognize that the patient is breathing and trigger an apnea alarm. The CCV will proceed to ventilate the patient using apnea ventilation mode, which has a higher trigger sensitivity. Because this mode more readily recognizes spontaneous breathing, the CCV may sense the patient's effort and respond by deactivating the apnea alarm and reverting back to CPAP mode. This can cause the CCV to cycle continuously between apnea ventilation mode and CPAP mode. To avoid this, do not use the CCV in CPAP mode on patients who are breathing too weakly to trigger the spontaneous breathing sensor.